Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Saturday evening episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a Vermont Session IPA by our old friends at Tiny Rebel called Dutty, which uh, if I, you know, no, try to uh, sort of say that in any slang sort of way, I'll just be called a boomer, so I'm just going to refrain from doing so. Now, this is a 4.2% um, alcohol volume uh, Indian pale ale. Oh, sorry, guys, I didn't realise my microphone was on. Um, and uh, it says it's got a smell of zesty tropical, an eye of hazy, and a taste of smooth and fruity. So... That's kind of generally what I look for in an IPA, so I'm looking forward to this already. And I like the sort of simplicity of the colours on the can. It's using a sort of like design that I probably wouldn't initially think of usually, but um, I think the colours and the design do generally complement each other. So I'll give the design of the can a, uh, I think, a healthy 9 out of 10. It, it looks good. It's artistic. It's got colours that I usually wouldn't really like mixed together, but it does look like a handsome can. I was also going to say that this is a uh, £2.59 purchase from the Wine Barrel on Western Road in Hove. So if you guys want to pick this up and it seems like something you might like, then I'd recommend going there for a, a purchase of it. So let's give ourselves a sniff of it first to see what it's like before we taste it. So... You'll have to excuse me while I'm looking up because I'm actually playing a bit of Command and Conquer 3 uh, Tiberium Wars with some of my friends. So, let's see. Hmm. It does take. It does smell quite citrusy actually, but it also has like a very distinct sort of after smell of mangoiness, which is actually quite nice. It like complements the citrusiness of the smell really well. So, yeah, it smells really nice. It smells like a sort of like a mangoey sort of like fruit salad with like. I don't know, um, lime juice in it or something. It does smell really damn good. So, yeah, I, uh, I'll give the smell a 10 out of 10. It smells lovely. So, yeah, honestly, it just smells like a slightly boozier sort of mango and lime fruit salad, which I'm not going to complain about. So, quick palate cleanser of water first before we taste this. And then on to the most important part of the video, which is to see what this sucker tastes like. So, to everyone watching at home, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the weekend. Bottoms up. Hmm. Yes, pretty good. It's kind of, it has that sort of average sort of like mango-y tint that you kind of expect with a uh, IPA. But more than anything, I feel like it's um, it's a bit more mellow in terms of like the bitterness than your usual IPA. Uh, and I don't know whether that's because it's a session IPA maybe, but um, I feel like the combination of sort of a slightly more mellowed out bitterness at the finish and a slightly more fuller mango flavour throughout kind of complements the um, the feel of an IPA a bit better. So, yeah, I actually do really like this. I think it's a generally well-made drink that, you know, takes the aspects of an IPA that people might not like so much but sort of, like, accentuates them in a way that would work uh, I think for most beer drinkers. So, yeah, generally I would say that this is a good relaxation drink. So, yeah, I'm going to give this an... Uh, it's one of my favourite IPAs, actually. So, I'm going to say... Um, yeah, nine, 8.75, possibly even pushing on for a 9. So, yeah, to Tiny Rebel, once again, this is a damn good drink, and I'm happy to drink it. So, yeah, I'd probably easily say this is one of my favourite IPAs ever, so definitely give it a shot if you guys are interested. Um, if you like this video as well, uh, leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boo Cellar, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to check out 
anything else I do online, I'll leave the links to my social medias and other YouTube channels in the video description down below. But until next time, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, take a mask with you to the shops, drink responsibly, no limits, and I'll see you guys next time at the bar on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.